everyone. I have something very important to share with you. Snuggy Science Part 3! Get comfy, learn about science! Today's Snuggy Science, we're going to be talking about the Brazil Nut Effect. Brazil Nut Effect! MSI has this wonderful exhibit called Science Storms. I haven't done a write-up about science storms yet, oh, because I was given a tour by Olivia, one of the scientists on staff who helped conceive and create and design all of the exhibit, and we took two and a half hours to get through about a quarter of it. That's how awesome it is. Right up coming soon, but we did get through the avalanche section of the exhibit. And this is where I learned about the Brazil nut effect. Okay, so avalanches. We all know what avalanches are, right? They have little granular materials in them, whether they're like huge boulders or like tiny pebbles or just a bunch of stuff falling off mountains. Worst example definition of an avalanche ever. Anyway, so those granular materials are different shapes and sizes, right? Well, that's going to affect how they move because of something called the Brazil nut. Hey, Kate, what internet world? What do Brazil nuts have to do with avalanches? A lot. And here, let me do a demonstration with this can of mixed nuts. So, the Brazil nut is the largest nut in this can of mixed nuts. So I'm gonna put the Brazil nut right at the bottom and seal it off. And now, I'm going to shake it. done. Now, let's open it up and see where my little Brazil nut went. Oh, how shocking. It's right on the top. So why did that happen? Because when the biggest piece in there was moving around, it created space underneath it that all the smaller pieces, like these tiny little peanuts, filled up. So that's why it's called the Brazil nut effect. It's literally named after shaking around a can of mixed nuts. But that happens in avalanches too. The larger pieces are always going to be supported by the smaller pieces. Bet you didn't know that. So next time you're in your kitchen, I want you to grab a can of mixed nuts and just go, science, science, I am doing science. It'll be fun, I promise. So sadly, this is my last Snuggy Science for a month at the museum. Sad Snuggy. Tonight is Sunday night. I'm leaving Thursday morning, early afternoon-ish, so I really only have three full days left here, which I really can't even begin to understand. But thank you to everyone who said that you liked Snuggy Science, either online or in person. I had a lot of fun making them. And may your future be full of fuzzy things and science. Night.